No, she's gonna be a good girl. Today, we'll delve into a dramatic and intense situation when Karens not only resist but also assault the police. No way! Hey. You know it! You know it! No. This is a series of stories about women who feel entitled to do whatever they please, escalating situations to the point of serious criminal charges like assaulting a police officer, a serious felony. I told you. No. Put your hands behind your back. Let's delve into this story to better understand the legal consequences of arrogant attitudes and violent behavior. Here are our main characters. Let's kick off our journey with a high stakes case where a family dispute quickly escalated into a fierce confrontation with the police. Don't kick me. Right there, that's where it started. I did not hit her. I wanted to. I did not touch her. On March 18th, 2024, police were called to a residence following reports of a heated family argument. Upon arrival, officers discovered Brittany and her partner in the midst of a fierce dispute. Brittany displayed extreme aggression and blatantly refused to follow the officer's instructions. Despite the officer's efforts to calm the situation and ask her to sit down, Brittany's hostile behavior only intensified. Her escalating defiance quickly turned the encounter into a dramatic and volatile standoff. Hello. What's going on? They're fighting like cats and dogs. Are they like physically fighting right now? They're upstairs. Yeah, Which started room? It. Get out! Hey, no, hold on. Right now. Hold on. Get no, she's gonna be out! Don't tell me what hey, to do. Right, right. Don't sit down, okay? Ah! She what is happening? Look, look, and that would have been my fault. Get off of me! Brittany, I told you. No. Put your hands behind your back. Who's got cuffs? I got hands. All right, I got her hands. I got on my legs. All right. Watch out for this cable. Yep, I got it. Calm down. Count Stop down. moving your wrist. Do not grab onto me. Here, someone's. My glasses are coming off. Okay. Well, it's not a concern at the moment. Please back up. Please back up. Uh, we're gonna roll you on your side, okay? Calm down. Here, roll on your side, baby. Stop! Not get the ball. I know. I'm between your legs. Oh, man, go sit on the couch. Nails on. Wait, it has a rabbit. Eat off. Can you go out and grab it? No. Just we told you to stay back. Just stay back. Do not tell my mom. No. Don't. People no. think you are. You are nothing. Are going to do this? Brittany, stop on your head. Stop, Brittany. It's not worth it. Because you think you're losing everything. You're not. Jesus. Chloe, you can't breathe. Well, that's your fault. Just stay over there. She's not listening to you right now. I literally can't breathe. But we can get her in the car. We'll be fine. Right. Here, I got this arm. Jump up. Don't kick me. Stupid. All right, is eight unlocked? Okay, yeah, watch the Watch the hill. All right. you have three one six nine three one six nine. Can you repeat that report number? Zero. Hey man, just stay inside. I'll come and talk with you in a second. Okay. We'll come in in a second. <laughs> All right. All right. Watch Take a seat. You're so calm. All right. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Dumb, are you okay? Yep. All right. <laughs> You know, I'm gonna go back in and talk with him. Can you start? Oh, damn it, she cut me. The situation became more complicated as both Brittany's mother and Brittany's boyfriend provided conflicting accounts of the incident. Brittany's mother claimed that Brittany was acting in self-defense, 
and that the footage from the room's camera would support this. However, upon review, the video revealed Brittany's aggressive behavior, while her boyfriend appeared to be mostly reacting defensively. Although the video captured the escalation of the conflict, it did not record audio, making a comprehensive assessment of the situation challenging. He was a caller. Okay. Let's take a seat. Calm down. I'm good, I'm good. She's okay. Just take a I know. I would, I would just... take a seat. Was there a physical fight between you guys today? Not until just now, but it wasn't like a fight. Okay, what do you... Because she's broken my stuff before. I know okay. you've seen the notes in the stuff. But yeah. I literally have motion sensors here. Um, I, I had to see where it starts. Right. I call. It's of the whole thing. Okay, but it's does, it, does it show her you guys fighting or, or what it is show, it? It shows the door. Yeah, it shows. Is there a physical fight between you guys today? I not like physical. I pushed her out the room. You pushed her out. Yeah, the room. Yeah, and it shows on that she assaulted. Me. Okay, like, that's I what I'm trying to get at. Yeah, no, okay. I stood there and took it, and then after like a minute of it. Grab. Did she got to did the you throw any strikes at her? Absolutely. Did she throw any strikes at you? Yeah. Okay. Well, are you not really? No. Okay, because yeah, we yeah. have them coming anyways to check on her. I, I got little and do that. It's not. I just wanted to stop. I mean, I mean, there's no. I mean, I did that myself two days ago. All that right. So me. what? What is actually from her? Is that from her? No. no okay. Not from anything today. That was from two nights ago. Uh, but right. but that's her. That's her. She wrote my shirt. I don't try to get my necklace. That, I mean. So what started all this? Maybe because I was right smoking a cigarette. The moment the boyfriend had to install cameras in the room because his girlfriend was destroying things and behaving like a wild animal was the moment he should have left. But perhaps he couldn't leave due to the convenience of being in a rent-free situation. This is clearly an abusive and toxic relationship. Brittany's mother completely blamed the man despite her daughter's wild actions being fully exposed to all the officers on the scene. Brittany stormed down the stairs and charged at the police like an enraged animal ready to attack. No matter how much her mother tries to protect her with a thorough investigation by the police, these lies will inevitably be uncovered. Okay. And he was smashing her into, with the door. Okay. Her head was sticking out. Her glasses went to fly in. Was this here already? Yeah. This okay. Is, I, do you know, do you see who started it all? Was it him or was it her? She asked him to be in the house okay. and he was being a dick about it. And I don't know what happened. Not to be here and I saw him have her against the wall. Hey, you and he was the man the was going on. So okay. she was hitting him too. No, she thing. couldn't really do nothing because she was stuck the door on her. She was on the ground when that was yeah. happening? Okay. But when she was up against the wall, was she... I don't think she did. Okay. She grabbed his shirt. Okay. She might have ripped his shirt. Okay. When this was happening? I was here and I was in. I was trapped in the room. Oh, okay. Were you like trying to break it up? I it got so bad that I... I had to back up so I didn't get knocked up. It was more him being the aggressor then than she was. Okay. Uh, so she got pissed at him for smoking in the house. And then it just saw spiraled from there. Yeah. And it show of the altercation. Okay, so it you might, show, it might show the first first part of it. I'm okay. not sure. Uh, right there. That's where it started. I did not hit her. I wanted to. I did not touch her. I did not touch. She literally started right there. Hold on, let me go back 30 seconds. So it, 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 I can't go any further. So you're going to have to watch that. And so it started. Because I had a cigarette. Because she's, she's see, that's the door right there. Jacket. She's linchpin right there. Would not let me go to smoke a cigarette outside. Like, I was singing. You know, and then she gets up. trapped between the door and the floor. Yeah, I will. Because I was defending myself. It's better than f***ing her up again. It's on there. I cord. Is this her mom? Yes. Her okay. I don't know why that's it, see? And I was going to, I, it, it, I stand there. I do not hit, I, I, I hate that it don't have sound. Well, I got trapped in that room. Yeah, and when you said let her contain for a second, and you went it out, and then you didn't even go out. You didn't even, yeah, it's all on there, Tootie. Okay. It's, it's, it's just right. defending, that's all it is. Like, she, well, she's for sure going to jail today. She kicked and hit three out of the four guys at the very least. So like, at the moment, at least, obstructing and resisting arrest. Okay. 
and an assault on a peace officer because she struck. At the very least, going to jail for that. That was my, my important documents, and I don't touch her. Again, I don't touch her. And, t and push her towards the door. I put her up against the wall, open the door, and this is what she does. And that, and I, oh, I kind of wedging her out. But uh, I didn't know that door shut. But I come right back in. Okay. It's not done. I'm literally trying to keep her out, and she gets wedged right here, and that's where I contain her on the, between the door. And there's no, there's no audio. I, I don't, I don't know. I've never really even done is the oh, clip for sure with the start of it. But hold on, I do too, Tootie. I didn't say anything wrong. Why do you keep? So he actually has a camera yeah. inside of his bedroom. Are you able to get me back to that video? Yeah, it's just. Um, How did you get thinking, those scratches? Well, uh, these. Just all of the ones on. I had a bucket list, a prison bucket list, and. I, I, what what did give me injuries from today? I mean, just scrapes and. Videos looking at each one. Okay. I want your opinion. Where are you going first? Are you able to. Which, by the way, question about that since I. Do you know how to turn the volume back on on this? It should be on already. Right. Oh, hold on. No, you it's have like to really start quiet it from, at first. Yeah, no, it is too. So, what's the volume on the video? Well, that's what no, we're trying to figure out, okay? Do you mind, do you mind sitting down? I'll come talk to you. Now. I mean, yes, I, I, I had to defend myself, but if I did something wrong... Go ahead. Go ahead. That's what she did this. That's what she, did this. That's what she like, tried to, like, pinch me or something. And then you grabbed her arm? No, I... After her behavior in front of the police, she now acts as if she's the victim, expressing her disappointment with the officers and how they handled the arrest. Not only that, she blatantly lied to the police, claiming that they were the ones who approached her first and that she didn't like being approached from behind. It seems this foolish woman forgot about the existence of body cams, with every action and word she uttered clearly recorded. Perhaps her behavior is the result of parents who never said no to their child and failed to teach her how to be a decent person. What happened once the officers got on scene? I didn't want them to come inside. Um, I don't remember. Um, Any drinking? The camera I'm seeing. No, I don't drink. I'm not drinking, doing drugs. Um, I don't like people coming up behind me or... Okay. So I, and I always get aggressive. No matter what, anyone cops might happen, and they know that. That's why my mom tried to pull me back because she, she knew it was going to happen. Oh, your mom's here too. That thing has happened before. I have an assault on an officer charge before that. I just got off of probation. I was approached from behind, and I ended up just instinctively like kicking behind. Like okay. I just. So when the officers, like immediately even if they, when they got here, they came up behind you, or did no, they try to talk no, to you? No, they didn't. While? They did. It was like in the wrong, but it's just the whole situation. Like I was already worked up, and then like telling me that they're going to put me like in cuffs, and then turning me around. And they told you that you were under arrest, and you were going into cuffs. No, they didn't tell me I was under arrest. Well, they told you they were going to hang on to you, put you in cuffs. Yeah. On you, yep. Don't like it. Okay. 
Yep. Brittany is currently facing multiple serious charges, including resisting arrest, obstructing official duties, assaulting a peace officer, and domestic violence. The officers described her violent behavior and history of interactions with law enforcement. Notably, her previous conviction for assaulting an officer has significantly impacted the current situation. As for her mother, perhaps she should also face consequences for lying to the police in an attempt to cover for her unruly daughter. Continuing the stories of defiance and legal consequences, we come to another unique case where a night of fun turned into a legal nightmare for a woman. On October 19th, 2023, at a concert in Florida, an unexpected event unfolded when Ashley Bloom, 30, was arrested after losing control under the influence of alcohol. Her behavior escalated from simply causing a disturbance to pushing a security guard and refusing to leave the premises despite multiple requests. This incident prompted police intervention, and things quickly became much more complicated. That's how All the whiskey fox shots hey, here. Go to the passenger side of your car. Give it to me! It wasn't just Ashley. Her best friend, another Karen, also had the ability to create chaos at the highest level. This position, I did nothing! I should have been here. I paid the money to enjoy a party. I did nothing! I do. You're getting, you're, go, you're leaving. She doesn't love my friend! No, because you're being disruptive. You can go to jail with her if you want. You're taking her to jail? No, he is. Uh, Are you taking me to jail now? No, I'm not. Not if you get up. Oh my god! But you are leaving. Here. Okay, well, don't make me um, I will not. Grab me I again. Will. Touch me Please, again, sir? and you are going to jail. Come on. No, I am not. A f no, join you. Well, you don't. Let me nope, go with you're her. going this way. Because if you mess with that arrest, you are going to jail. But I just saw it out there to the ground. And this is her best friend. You would not nobody want else, to do it. Nobody would have had to do that because I would have done it myself. She was acting no. like a... Like, if you come I, back in, you are subject to arrest. If you go over there and bother them, on that arrest, you will be arrested. Get out of here. Ashley's arrest was inevitable. The officers gave her the chance to leave, but she chose to stay causing chaos and ultimately fighting with the police. Even so, it seems she still hasn't fully grasped the seriousness of her actions. You guys are so low. You don't have to be this way, ma'am. Really? You know, what, what, what choice did I get? You what, know what I do, if so. we have to play this back, you what opportunity I was given? Please. You got anything illegal on you? Anything that's poked and stick me probably? No, nothing! And I can't wait until I was Ah, it's supposed to be anything! Sit in the car. Get up. Ow! Oh. Firecracker. Yeah, firecracker! Ow! In this position? Do you want to be in this position? Oh, you put me in this position! <laughs> okay, so now! So now I'm playing a position. <laughs> yeah, so... She's so one of the security guards. He asked me if she's like, I'm not leaving. You know, we're like forcing her up the stairs and leave. And then at one point she turns on me and she asks, oh, when, we finally, me. when we finally got her out of here, she also punched me right in the chest. So Ashley's friend was given the opportunity to leave by the police, but she chose to stay and argue with them, determined to defend her friend. Both of these individuals should be considered threats and barred from attending concerts. It would be a terrible experience for everyone if they were to cause another disruption like this. You got somebody to come pick you up? Yeah. You better come and get me because that's the only way out of here, apparently. I have got someone coming to me. I told you, she's going to jail. Where? St. John's County Jail. Why? Why? For resisting with violence, that's trespassing. Violence was right there. So was I. I don't know how you didn't. No, she wasn't. You can't push police officers and just like. Violence. 
think that nothing's gonna happen. So long, how long is it gonna be? How long is it gonna be till your husband gets here? I don't know. You have to talk to her. So she don't get arrested. to make sure that you tell all of these guys. No, I don't care. I can get my own. She could You knew she was fine. You knew she was No, she wasn't. If you think that's fine, you're too drunk. That's not what I'm saying. What are you talking about? No, you're making you look crazy and she made her look crazy. You're not reasonable. I'm, I'm trying to work with you and let you sit here while your until your husband gets here. I don't know. She can't push security guards, she can't push police officers. As soon as that happens, we're gonna do something about it. She wouldn't leave. All she had to because do- she was here for me! Listen, oh. she knew I had two children! Yeah, but- she was, yeah. I'm 28, sir! I'm 28! Okay. I am here for my daughter and my son. My son, I need her more than y'all need her! Well, she's not acting she's good not enough to be in here. Florida. Because of Let her actions. Go. We rarely arrest people here. Rarely. I've been here enough, I know myself out with Y'all do this to people and it is so fuck. You don't do anything to anybody. Be in the same situation and my so girl, it's part of your crowd. without children, without a husband. It makes sense. This is what you do? Oh, is that a risk? You know yeah. that girl is not keeping thugs off the highway. You know that. What are you talking about? Citizen. Is to protect our streets, protect our home. We have Hamas out there, and you're worried. Okay. It's funny. It is laughable. Okay. You know that is not up to anything. You know she's not a terrorist. She left like she was asked to do. You guys would be out here waiting for she your ride. She would have, but she didn't want to leave me because I'm. A, who would want to leave me? A friend, sir. A friend. I don't know. No. Yes. Why? Because she pushed a security officer, she pushed a police officer. Not for me, I'm two years younger than okay, her. Okay, I don't care why mom. she did it. She did all of that. She did it to you guys. So if her protecting me is a threat to you, you have a lot okay, of other ask, I'm gonna try something which is probably bad. With but you. Fuck, me. Is somebody that steals a candy bar a threat? If my daughter comes to me and says, Erica stole a candy bar, but this guy told me that's okay. Guess what I'm gonna what say? What else, dude? What are you talking about? Because that is the America we live in. His veggie tales, dude. He acts like this is not America. Greg, I told you to stop bringing your brother. I He's having a good two, time. No, nope. I had a great night, and I have two children who unfortunately are gonna see that. Here? No, they're not. Okay. Because I'm a good mom. Well, how are they gonna see her be arrested? Because they're gonna know. Being a bad person, dude. Well, that'll usually get you arrested. No, it wasn't. She was not a bad person. Y'all are making a laughing debacle out of nothing. Oh. Yes, sir. No, oh, what's up? Not. This car. Okay, because he's got 10-15, right? Yeah. yeah. She's screaming and shit. Yeah. Where'd that happen? She was doing something and one of the security guards told her not to do it. And she pushed the security guard and so then he tried to get her to leave and she was... Then... Seems like a big mistake. A whole, a whole bunch of drinking. Girl. Sir, you sit here and tell me I don't want anything. You're not I'm under. I'm right here. You're not under arrest, but you have to leave. I'm, I'm fine with leaving. Yeah, right. anything to you. And you've been saying stuff to me. I know. You're so good. Tell me. Tell my husband. I've done nothing. Give me. My husband will come and give me. Okay. Come and give me my two babies. Sober. Y'all get breathless. Perfect. Good. No, please get my friend. No, she's going to jail. No. Yes, that decision's already been made. Why trust me? None of those people are pushing security guards and police yeah, officers. You have no idea. You have no idea. Please get my friend. No, that's not happening. No. Just let. No. Okay. Well, she's not tonight. She's not. She is. No, she's not. You're for playing it. If you can't play into my getting that girl free, then 
that guy and playing in the- You know, you know that's up. You want to be ambiguous? Be ambiguous. And I've done nothing. I want that known. I'm going to record myself to make it known. Okay. Before I do it, I've done nothing. Please let this sir know. What's I've up? done nothing. No, please let that. Please let I'm just waiting for you to get a ride and make sure you leave. Okay, then let him know before he gets me arrested. My friend shouldn't be arrested. That's tonight. my boss. I can't. She, 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 her actions caused her to be arrested. protecting me. I'm the. Is this I'm, your husband? No. Oh, I am the little. Yeah, fuck it. You won't. You'll let him through. By all means, have me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all in the sand. You're fine. Thanks, man. Yeah. No, I didn't. It was my friend any different than that. She could have walked through and said. She could have walked out. This is just crazy. She I love Casey. Still completely. She chose not to. No, she didn't. She yes, she did. She to be there for me. I have two children. Well, she had a bad night. Oh, I have I'm a bad I'm not saying night. she's a bad person. I'm saying she had a bad night. No, she did Mom as a friend. I'm sorry. I, she's I, not a whore. I'm still failing to understand how that equates, but. You. I don't know. No, he knows. Look at him. He knows. I, I just got here. Y'all can sit Y'all here and play like night. my friend didn't do what she was supposed to. You good. both know. Am I am I wrong for videoing you No, guys? you can video am me. Am I going to... No. We quit talking. Why? Everything he said about me, he shuts up and then leaves. He didn't... He didn't? No. He didn't. He said anything about my friend that could still be in there. He literally... And the way she wasn't in there. Okay. And now this Twitter is poor. I have no idea where she is in that lineup. What is this? Like this? Are you kidding me? What do I have to say that's exciting enough and violent? Because like, what the f***? My friend, you saw her. She's not a threat to you. Just don't know how many he's charged. That would not Consumer be Consumer violence, battery on Leo, and trespassing? Oh, I'm it's trespassing now? No, not yet. I have They're a fine. ticket here. Am I... If I move you're free to leave. Over, if I move over No, there, you're free to leave. It appears the police spent an inordinate amount of time dealing with this unruly drunk woman who seemed to be deliberately provoking an arrest like her friend. She should reflect on her alcohol abuse, as her children will be deeply affected seeing their mother on YouTube behaving like a rebellious teenager. For no reason. Or can I move over there you're, and wait for my husband? You're free to leave. You're free to leave. Where's my friend? She's in the back of the car. Which car? A car. A car. I'm calling the attorney. You come and get her. What the car is she in? She's not, he's not getting her out of her car. Then the f*** deal with that. Y'all think I'm dumb. I'm No, I think you're drunk. I may be drunk. Finally. Oh, my public intoxication. Let me go over here. I'm Upon witnessing this scene, her husband might also want to consider leaving and changing their living environment. Children should not have a mother who is drunk and irresponsible, as it will negatively impact their development, given that children often emulate their parents' behavior. Notably, with her disruptive behavior and accusations against the police, she also deserves to be arrested. Officers are not established merely to listen to the complaints of this out of control woman. If this was my daughter, me and her would be having a hell of a talk. Bro. She's from Maryland. She doesn't know. You? This is where I have to stay to be free. You are free to leave. She has got a ride somewhere. What do I have to do to promote my life? I'm getting a ride. I don't know. Words of jurisdiction kick in for your f is what I'm asking. What? I don't. And, and, and you coming over here and busting me as a mother of. You're free to go. I don't have a ride, and y'all know that. Okay. I, well, you're. Then when are you going to let me drive you? What if that's three hours from now? Well, I. We'll see where he's at. I hope he's. Why does it take a cross to me and she 
get water from the Israeli government. For me, I don't trust anybody. My kids are vaccinated. I don't give a page of life I want to let me know that y'all are after me. I'm actually out here to make sure you don't do anything. Can I over here if you're so hurt? <laughs> I don't even. Yes, you will never take responsibility. You should take responsibility for your own life. I shouldn't. I oh. should live in a government where I know Watch the step. people that I hate. But instead, y'all alienate me on an island. It's not saying that I'm over here. We have two officers who will not tell me they can take care of me. What, what can I do to help you? And offer me care on that. You're going to be out here, right? Oh, you'll hang out until, uh, until you take care. Yeah, yeah, I'm just waiting for Thank you to you. type it up. What? You're leaving me. I'm over huh? here. You gotta leave me. Oh, okay. She's kicking. I'm kicking. Ashley is no less troublesome than her friend. Even while handcuffed and placed in the back of the police car, she continued to resist and try to escape. This defiant individual needs to be taken to jail as quickly as possible, so she can swiftly come to terms with the reality she's facing. She's 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 out of cuffs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's what's her What's her her, her name? Ashley. Ashley Point. No, I think she just slipped them out all together. They were Ashley, listen, stop. Uh, all right, hold on. We're doing this the hard way. I was not Stop. resisting. I was just literally trying to get out. I didn't do anything. I was not. You're going to jail. You need to stop, okay? For what? No matter what you do, you're going to go to jail at the end of the day. Your charges, I've told you a million times, it's not our fault you're too drunk to remember, okay? Too drunk to remember? What are they? Actually, last you're time literally I'm... not even letting me walk out the last door. Last time I'm going to tell you. Okay. You're going to jail for a better... You're like to actually... Forgo my rights. Right, Can I, I go? Nope. Can I walk? You guys like go me, please. Oh, you didn't get a chance. Chance at all. Stand up. What the f I didn't literally get anything. Ashley, what am I being kissed? Ashley, I, I really don't want to push you in. Sit in there like a grown adult. I would like to Ashley, let's go. Can you please let go of me? Stop kidding, yeah. another oh, charge. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah, another charge. What's my original charge? Uh, I think you got three. No, tell me now. No. Take me home. It says police, not taxi. I didn't say you were a f taxi. During transportation, she continued to cause trouble for the officers. Ultimately, Ashley was charged with resisting arrest without violence and trespassing on a building or vehicle with occupants. This is the price they must pay for their defiance and lack of control. Perhaps Ashley and her friend should also be charged with resisting law enforcement and disturbing the peace. Do you agree with these additional charges? If you were in a position of authority, what charges would you bring against the suspects? Leave your thoughts in the comments below the video. After examining this situation, the most important lesson we can draw is to avoid excessive use of alcohol or other stimulants. They can reveal your darkest sides and turn you into a completely different person than usual. The consequences of alcohol abuse are numerous, and they all share a common theme, making the user pay a heavy price. So, consider removing alcohol from your menu. A tense confrontation between the police and a foster mother has led to serious charges and unimaginable tension. Are you curious? Let's dive in and find out more. On November 17, 2023, the police receive an emergency call regarding a family dispute. When officers arrived at the scene, they were met with resistance from the foster mother, who not only refused to open the door, but also refused to cooperate with authorities. This refusal not only made it more difficult for the police to conduct their investigation, but also escalated the severity of the situation, creating a complex scenario right from the start. Hey, open up now! Open up! Who has the knife? I'm sorry, keep the door down. Open up! 
back and maybe have her step out. Open up! I'm about ready to if you don't come out! I'm back. Open the door. No. Do not touch my car. No. What's the We have an emergency call. We have an emergency call. When the officers attempted to approach, the foster mother not only argued, but also accused the police of illegal conduct. Despite initial information suggesting that a knife might be involved, she insisted there was no knife and continued to resist arrest. Her defiant behavior not only escalated the situation, but also led to more serious charges being filed against her. But then she was screaming that I'm putting the knife up. She continued to insist that she had done nothing wrong and denied all accusations of physical altercation or misconduct. Despite the officers stating otherwise, she remained firm in her stance. Her uncooperative attitude not only created chaos, but also made the investigation more difficult. Huh? Uh, yeah, come. If you, once you start relaxing, come here. Stay with her. All right, ma'am. What I'm did a, I do? You didn't, you just, Why are you breathe. Dating? Someone had a knife. Nobody I, had a listen, knife. You're, well, I figured out your kids had a knife to protect themselves. Who, so my kids? Looking over me before I get upset. Please just let me out. All right. What's don't happening right now nothing. is I'm getting all your kids in from stairs and stuff got physical, no, but I don't see any Nothing got physical. What happened is my kids, those aren't even kids. I'm staying, they're staying for a time. They're well, foster parents. You're still guardian they're over them, right? What? You're still guardian Just over them, no matter what, until they transfer over. I'm hot. I'm hot. Please I understand. Let me out. Well, you're, you're I'm yelling. Hot. I don't, I so do. right now you're what listening. Did I do? What so did I got I called do? here for someone what having nice. I knocked on the door and you guys. Yeah, because your kids called because they were scared. No, they're not. Yeah, they were. No, That's what not. they just told me. No, so they're I'm gonna get you. Let me out. You're gonna be released. What? Oh, why is Will's? this happening? Because we got cold here. They're not. It's because they were scared. My this is a lie. I don't care hey, whose children they are. They had a knife. Listen to us. Hey, you're lying. No, we're not. No, we're not lying. How do you spell this? Officer, you it's your information, you okay? You guys are never scared. I think. Is that? How do you spell How do you spell Desi? Dude, there's another child over here. Do you hear me? There's another child. Do you, 
please. Two E's. Listen. Well, you keep child yelling over me. Child. I'm not trying to yell middle, over you. Middle initial. Why don't you tell middle me initial. you're I but did talk to you. To you me. keep yelling at me like we're I'm not, not in. I'm trying to what's, know. what's your middle initial? Date of birth. That's I'm good trying to talk to you because what's, what's a good a child who's schizophrenic in my hey, home. He's not my, my aunt. That's not my child. During her arrest, the foster mother complained of difficulty breathing and anxiety, claiming it was caused by the current situation. Despite this, she continued to deny any wrongdoing or physical altercation, arguing that the police were called under false pretenses. She insisted that her children were not afraid, which contradicted the officer's statements about the children's anxiety. If she truly couldn't breathe, it would be best for her to stay quiet and listen to the officer's instructions. Based on the actions and attitude this woman has displayed, allowing her to be a foster mother was clearly a mistake. She should be separated from these children. I would never attack you. I would never do that. But yeah, okay. I'll stay right here. Okay. I'll stay right here. I can't breathe. Okay. I would never attack okay. you. The thing is, the okay. child, I'm trying to be nice to him because he's the nephew to my other children. Listen, well, listen, this is in my home per, per um, say. The, uh, hey, he hey, has hey, had hey. previous calls for falsely yeah. calling y'all because he came through Bradley. He came through all now my child. I just called him here because I was trying to let him hang out with my nephew. I'm serious. This is serious. Her son makes false calls. He makes false calls. He called her okay. from Bradley. All he did all, all this. The, all the kids upstairs. Yes. Yeah. No, it's not about fighting. And well, I told well, well me and that. well are not under fighting. The point is, is I told them to go in the room. When I told them to go, well, they all he said was you. restricted. No, I did tell them to well, go they in all the said room. You were yelling and, and I told him to get his stuff and no, go. I'm I told them to go in the room. You no, I never once. I never was. Ace was sitting down a few hours ago. I had something to drink. Maybe I haven't I'll had pay anything pay to drink in the last two hours. The one. She's the babysitter. She's paid. I am the foster mom. No other one. To watch children by Are yourself. you kidding me? No, no, no. no. Okay, that's fine. Terry can come. Terry is the one to have her son. I would have never did this. He's the one who called the gun for y'all. That's what y'all don't read. When he called y'all and Bradley, he came off of school and called y'all. This is on record. This is on record. And then the other thing is, is why do you slam the door on the police? I didn't know who they was. I can't be a I literally said, Jory, please. I had no idea. I had no idea. That is not. It's 712. I can get the rest what's, what's out of my phone. phone. We'll get your phone for you. Adam. I'm not sure where it's at. Black. It's seven. Eight. No, it's a clear case. Clear case. Listen, listen. I don't need your search for my. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We can call. It's just called on a false thing for y'all. Please look her up. Just sit back down. This is not for me. Please don't put me. Please, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. You can have seen the paddy whack. Me? Why? Because I'm telling you, have a seat. We're conducting an investigation. Okay, have a seat, please. What's have happening? a seat. Sit. No, what you're please. doing right now is an additional charge. I'm asking no. you to have a seat. Okay. Why would watch, watch your foot? Thank right. you. We'll leave the window crack. Please, no, it's a five hundred. Please have my phone. What the Where? is going on? What well, is going, going on? on? Why am I being just not resisting? I'm so, not resisting. What you mean? When you was out the door, I did not know you were. It's no, I was not resisting. Yeah, you were. When I said open the door, I you did were... not know you were. Didn't know you were the bullies. Get... Why are you doing all this? No, why are you doing all this? You have a grandma. Terry's not answering. I and she does call her back. She's in charge of them. And Kate, those are her children. Is this a joke? Hey, Terry, this Terry, is Officer Jackson from Curie Police Happy Department. After arranging care for the children. The officer transported the woman to the EMTs for necessary medical attention as she kept insisting that she couldn't breathe. This process was far from smooth as the woman in the back seat continued to rant, denying that she had assaulted the officer. Her erratic behavior and wild claims didn't stop there. Stay tuned to witness the rest of her unbelievable conduct. I got hold of Terry, like you said, and she's coming down to get all the kids. Okay. Well, what is going on? Mm -hmm. Why am I he is obstructing. 
me she will tell you. I never obstructed. I didn't know who you were. Just that fail. Are you kidding me? Yeah, thank you. And then falsely arrest anyone. Because I never touched you. You can. You said I touched you. You lied. You lied. Oh, yeah. You lied. Oh, yeah. I punched you. Oh, yeah. You lied. 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 Oh
Yep. Should we go to the hospital? I want you to stop touching. Uh, I, I need an answer. I want you to stop touching. She kept shouting nonsense while claiming she couldn't breathe, then played the victim, acting as if she was harmed by the officer's handling of a situation. This woman is always playing the victim card. In the end, the officers finally got this troublesome woman into the ambulance. Her mother faced serious charges, including resisting arrest, assaulting a peace officer, and obstructing justice. This situation highlights a common issue in confrontations with the police. Unnecessary resistance can lead to additional charges and severe legal consequences. He's hit me so much in the head, I can't remember anything. How, about how many times did you slap her? Do you remember? It was one time. She one time. The crap out of me. On February 21st, 2024, officers responded to a domestic disturbance call in a normally quiet neighborhood. Eyewitnesses described a young male violently attacking a young female, shattering her car windows and slashing her tires in a fit of rage. What you're about to see is the gripping body cam footage capturing the dramatic events that unfolded next. Who did this? You ain't going to back up. Can you push her off? Her mom! Oh. Oh. One night team got one running. Get on the ground. I'm in the current location. I'm running towards Paddlewood. He's laying on the ground in the yard now. Um. No! Save! Oh, I'm leaving my mom. How old are you? What are you doing? Where are you from? Toward me. What'd you catch yourself on? It's so weird. Hey, what are you doing, Sonny? I ain't grabbing that bloody arm. Roll over again. All right. Bring your knees up to your stomach. Yep. Lift up. There you go. There you go. Stand up. Well, it looks like you're on plane What's air. going on with you? 104, you can clear traffic. They got him detained. Um, we're going to be at... Okay, my van. He was swiftly apprehended by the officers, and in a surprising twist, despite being a 21-year-old man, 
he repeatedly called out for his mother as the police held him accountable for his actions. It was as if he hoped that his mother could somehow save him from the consequences of his violent outburst. His hopes seemed well-founded, as his mother arrived on the scene shortly after. Come on! Life is ruined! <laughs> Hey Dan! Floyd! My girlfriend has it. Alright. Hey, have a seat. Sit down. Get in there. I'm trying. Sorry. Right. Hey, you get my inhaler? What do you need an inhaler for? Why are you running if you need an inhaler? I'm peeing myself for some reason. I got an ambulance coming for you. Just kind of concentrate on breathing. Because you've been running, man. You're an adult. You don't need your mom. Who is he to her? It's her boyfriend, but my son. And, and I say I didn't mean to say unfortunately, but I'm oh, just saying no, that it's just not changing. And I've literally told her to leave. And listen, if they freaking look at his biological before we adopted him, I mean, if y'all would actually look at the whole picture here, okay. he's just uh, suicide nine times, like literally. I mean, I'm just like, did y'all witness anything that happened? No, they just got here like ten okay. minutes. The guy right there in the blue, he saw the whole thing. Okay. And thank you, Jesus. He called you guys to okay. figure this out because here Anna's crying I'm, okay. I work from home obviously sorry. all right give me a minute let me talk to her sorry. okay go, go, go. sorry ma'am the young female visibly shaken and traumatized by the recent incident bore multiple injuries a black eye swollen cheek and a split lip all inflicted by the suspect over the past few days given her condition EMS was on route to assess her injuries and provide necessary care in the meantime a female officer remained by her side, offering support and gathering a preliminary account of the events. I'm Deputy Widensall, okay? Um, I gotta try to figure out what's going on, okay? We are gonna have EMS come check you out. Um, you're safe, everything is, all right. Okay, just take a couple deep breaths for me, okay? Just in and out. Okay, I know a lot's going on right now. Um, I know she said you guys just got here, right? Okay. Where were you coming from? Do you remember? We were, um, we were coming from Wilderness Landing. We were sleeping out there. Uh, they called the cops. At Wilderness Landing? Okay. And he got in the driver's seat. He, he drove off with me, or he was going to take my car and drive off, and I wasn't going to have any service. Okay. I just took the chance. Mm -hmm. I literally haven't been able to drive my car because he's been taking over. Okay, where is the lo that located? Do you, kn do you know the street? Uh, it's right off of uh, Norman Riley. All right. If you look up Wilderness Landing Park, okay. it's a free camping. Okay, I noticed that you have injuries on your face. You have, you know, a black eye, your cheek is swollen. The black eye was a couple of days ago. My busted lip was last night. Okay. And my cheek was today. It was at the... Um, my, my cheek, one of the neighbors literally ripped him out of the car. I locked myself in the car. He got out. And he started stabbing my tires. And he starts and trying to get in, trying to unlock the door. He finally unlocks the door and he hops in and starts punching me. Um, so you said he did that to your windshield? Did you have um, a mirror here? Or he was destroyed that? that last night. Uh, it looks like it's bleeding. Is that from when he was punching you in the vehicle? <laughs> that was last night before. Okay. Um, so your swollen cheek is from today. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. And you That's said mud. that happened That's at not blood. Huh? There's mud, not mud. blood. That's blood. On the outside. Yeah. While speaking with the victim. The police discovered that this was not the first time he had exhibited such violent behavior. There was a history of previous domestic violence offenses, indicating a deeply toxic relationship. Today's incident appeared to be a disturbing pattern of repeated behavior, highlighting the urgent need for intervention and protection for the victim. He was threatening to stab himself in the chest the whole way. He's extremely suicidal. He kept telling me over and over. We've been on and off for almost three years. Okay. And we've broken up before and we got back together after a month. I was really just trying to go back home. 
I kept telling him, take my thing and just leave. Okay. No. Okay. Uh, were you guys stopped down there? Is that how the... He pulled the e-brake and probably almost popped the back tires because he just dogs my car. He wouldn't let me drive it. He wouldn't let me do anything. Did you see what he was stabbing the tires with? Kitchen knife. A kitchen knife. Okay. Does he normally carry a knife on him? Yeah. Okay. Um, and you saw him stabbing the tires? Okay. And then how did you get to here? So, we were over by Pace High School. We had gotten cops called at the Wilderness Landing. We were trying to figure out where we wanted to go and what we wanted to do. He just had court. He already had a case. Um, what happened last night when the deputies were called? Uh, we drove off. I never spoke to them. Okay. Um, yesterday was a court case for battery. For you as the victim? Yeah, in uh, Crisview. What happened? Uh, battery. Yeah. Okay, did you lose consciousness at all? Hey, Sarge, where did the witness go? I don't know who's the Mom? witness. It was the I saw a way. group of people walking that way as I was pulling in. Man, woman? Okay, that's probably his house then, because when I first came by, he's the one that told me where it is, the house directly, and I can go talk to him for you. Okay, I, yeah. I think you... he was wearing a blue shirt. Okay. I, I thought you were just screaming for your mom. Yeah, that, that was screaming for your mom. That's kind of weird to do. What do you mean? I don't know. But... This is what the witness said to the police. This is the gentleman that seen it first, kind of intervened. The car pulled up right at the corner right there, and I saw him kind of get, he was using his elbows and hands to kind of beat on the windshield, and she let him in the car. And then at that point, I was already kind of getting out, and I saw her, or saw him hit her. Okay, so she was in the driver's seat at the time that she was hit a punch I, I or a slap, or you well. just... It had to be a close fist. Okay. Her head recoiled, but I didn't see it. Okay, several okay. Several times, several Sorry. times. I just saw the one hit that, that got her pretty solid. Okay. And at that point, I, I pulled him out. The, the right. passenger door was, like, cracked open. Like, okay. Away. Do you remember, was he inside, like, on top of her? Okay. Okay. Um, let me grab a form real quick, and do you mind just giving me a quick... Yeah. Um, okay. yeah. At this point... The young woman has received medical treatment for her injuries. Police officers will interview her to gather detailed information about the incident, which will be accurately documented in their official report. This step is crucial in building a comprehensive legal case against the suspect, ensuring that justice is served and that appropriate measures are taken to safeguard the victim from further harm. Do you remember about how many times he hit you in the face? He's hit me so much in the head, I can't remember anything. Okay. Do you remember if you lost consciousness? I did this morning. Busted my lip. When we left the campsite, because I started yelling at him, he was getting mad and frustrated because I wasn't helping him pack. I was and he kept screaming at me and yelling at me, and then he started destroying my car. Give me one minute, please. He broke my driver's side mirror. Um, he broke my, my mirror up top and I'm um, finishing packing up. Um, and he got so upset that he just started punching me and I just... Okay. Don't, don't want to interrupt, but... Hey, she, she you remember with me. getting hit like Nine. that, you need to go to the hospital. Your mom's coming. She can get the dogs for the She's test. not going to take my car. She's not going to take my animals. I don't want to go to the hospital. I mean, your, your car's not going anywhere. It's not going to be, it's not drivable. It's going to have to stay here. You can get it towed to your mom's house, but right now, I mean, there's no reason to not go. I mean, and you sit there and you don't go, and then you end up dying. You know, you got the adrenaline going right now. You got hit. You know, there's a lot more that could be going on, so. And you can't I'll, see what's going on inside. Yeah, I mean, they need it. They probably need to scan your head to make sure. Okay. Internal injuries that you can't see or feel. Can I wait? Until my mom gets here. Where is she coming from? Okay. As the investigation progresses, police officers confront the suspect who physically assaulted his girlfriend. However, his account of the events painted a starkly different picture. So what happened between you and your girlfriend today? Um, so we both been on drugs and was antagonizing. Okay. And we just had an event where we were at the campground. I'm trying to think of the name, but she knows it. You'd have to ask her that part. Um, okay. Anyways, this is campground, and uh, we've been doing drugs in, because we were staying on, and we do it on the back roads and stuff. And we got to the camp, and we were ready to move out that day. This uh, got in a uh, verbal altercation, and she started tackling me and hitting me. And so, I, no, 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 I thought there's styrofoam freaking plates at her. I took a roll of styrofoam plates, because she beat the crap out of me, and, like slammed me on my hip. I got back up, and I hit her with a 
bag of styrofoam plates that should be in the back of the car still. That's okay. Take your time. I'm trying to think. It was a really eventful night. Um, she started sewing like a, she slung a, I think it was a two by four, and then a, a, a broom pole at me. And that's how that damage to the mirror happened on the car. I, uh, I so what know. happened today? She, no, I'm not done yet. Oh, okay. And then she made me run from the cops. Okay. <laughs> Why is this zapping me? Or is this my arm loose in circles? I'm zapping you. Okay. We got, we got to like Alabama for some reason because I was driving in the dark and I can't see what was happening. I'm choking up, sorry, I got it. That's okay. And um, so we had to turn all the way from Alabama. And this one, we started arguing again and she bit me. <laughs> Oh, she bit me yeah. Physical altercation, uh, altercation. And I'm afraid to even say this part because last time we talked about it, the first battery charges that got dropped, she attacked me first. She's a uh, woman. Okay. <laughs> Through the suspect's account, the situation appears to have taken on a completely different narrative. He attempts to portray himself as the victim of violence, alleging that his girlfriend was the aggressor who attacked him. However, his claims lack any substantiating evidence, with witnesses contradicting his version of events. Despite his efforts to shift blame, the physical evidence, including the severity of the injuries sustained by his girlfriend, paints a starkly contrasting reality. The investigation now focuses on unraveling the truth, relying on factual evidence and witness testimonies to ascertain the accurate sequence of events and ensure justice is served appropriately. I'm usually on the defense. Gotcha. So I'm kind of string bean. I can't do much. Um, so we, we pulled over and we talked about it and we promised we never hit each other again. And then we were on the way here. I grew up watching my stepdad beat my mom and I think of him as a monster and I can't live with myself like that and by myself she was going to leave me here. As soon as I did it, I started realizing what I did because I, black, I black out anxiety and I did but it's almost, almost something, it's depression medicine. We ain't eating today, so we were both probably hangry. And she wouldn't let me in the car, and I freaked out. And as soon as I freaked out, I was... Um, she stopped the vehicle, you got out of the vehicle, and you remember piercing the tire with a knife. She started threatening she was going to leave me, and I said, I can't remember exactly what she said. But it's about when I started freaking out. Do you remember what the knife looked like? Not 1999 titanium uh, knife set at Walmart, and it's a uh, pretty oil. Oh, color. I'm really bad with my pants, I'm sorry. Um, okay, so it was a rainbow knife. Um, after you stabbed the knife, do you remember where you put it? It broke, they should have found it by now, it was in the middle of the road. Okay. I tried stabbing the windshield and it failed. You slapped her with your palm? No, I, eh, like, it was a little, like, eh, like a palm, right here. Okay. Right to, right to, like, right here. How, about how many times did you slap her? Do you remember? It was one time. She one time. She the crap out of me. Okay. And bite her bites hurt worse than anything. Uh, I don't really remember because right after that, right after she bit me, he ripped me, beat the hell out of me. He hit me in the head about six times, punched me in the ribs about a bunch more times, rolled me around, hit me some more. And then I, I, well, I walked and went over to the, to the car and I started telling her I was so sorry and I promised that we would never do this again. Thank you. Just uh, stay tight with him. I'm going to let them know that you're ready to go. I just left that there. I'm getting out of here. I'm sorry. Tell her I'm That's sorry. Listen. So many people love you. I just don't understand. I'm sorry, I closed the door. I love you. I'm sorry. I love you. <laughs> the man was subsequently taken to the hospital for treatment before being transferred to jail for further processing. Meanwhile, Police officers remain to provide guidance and counsel to the woman about obtaining a restraining order against him. This legal step aims to protect her from any potential future harm and ensures that appropriate measures are in place to uphold her safety and well-being. As the investigation continues, authorities are committed to supporting the victim and pursuing justice in accordance with the law. Okay, so this is um, just some resources in case you need it, okay? Um, instructions, however, the judge should issue a no-contact stipulation. Um, however, if you need further protection, just call some resources, uh, counseling services, um, domestic violence shelters, okay? Do we need to take um, pictures? So I already took pictures of her vehicle. So technically speaking, um, are you comfortable with me talking in front of your mom? Okay, I just want to make sure before. Uh, into this morning. Um, technically speaking, you can file charges there. So he would have the domestic in Okaloosa, what and then he would have- Sarah has domestic in Okaloosa. Okay. Would 
I'm gonna do. This is gonna mark it for him. I'm sorry to interrupt. Um, do you know the outcome of that yesterday? The charges were dropped. Okay. Because so he told me he was gonna change. Okay. Because he manipulated me. <clears throat> okay. And then we got into an argument last night. That's why my driver's side, why? he shattered it. He shattered my back tail light. Um, punched it. That's why his hand's bleeding. That just reminded me, um, during the incident that happened in the vehicle here, did, um, do any strikes, any defensive, anything? I tried shoving him off and I, my, I bite, I can't, I'm very tiny, I'm weak. The only thing I could do is bite. Okay. Um, do you remember biting him or trying to get him off you? Uh, he reached over and was trying to get my foot off the brake instead of turning. Um, my foot was staying on the brake. He kept trying to hit the gas. He was trying to push me out of the car. So I bit his shoulder, and that's when he punched me in the face. Okay. That was right when the neighbor came out and literally reached in and yanked him off. Yeah. Literally chucked him out of the car, shut the door, and told me to run. The man faced serious charges following the incident, including resisting arrest property damage, and domestic violence battery. Despite these charges, the legal process continued as the woman pursued an injunction against him to ensure her safety. Unfortunately, he violated the injunction shortly thereafter, leading to a warrant for his arrest. According to court records, he was apprehended a month later under the terms of that warrant. This case highlights the critical importance of legal protections for victims of domestic violence. The woman's decision to seek an injunction under her determination to safeguard herself from further harm. It also serves as a reminder of the challenges victims face in ensuring their safety through legal means. By adhering to court orders and respecting injunctions, individuals can contribute to a safer community and uphold justice for those affected by domestic violence. From today's stories, it's clear that one's attitude and behavior when interacting with law enforcement can significantly impact the outcome of an incident. Non-cooperation and aggressive actions not only complicate the situation, but can also lead to serious legal consequences. It is crucial to remain calm, respect the law, and cooperate with authorities to protect your own rights and ensure safety for everyone. Don't forget to turn on notifications to get the latest videos quickly. Goodbye and see you next time.